Steven Goskowski now has this one teed up, and we are underway from Gillette Stadium. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They go play action here on first down. Open here is Allison. That's complete. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Probably mean to jump in on you, partner, but they didn't waste any time getting downfield, did they? I mean, a nice big play there. Three plays, three That's successful fine. plays yeah. in plus territory. Now this defense on its heels a bit. It seems like they had something targeted there, doesn't it? It's like, okay, we've got a matchup we like coming right out of the gate. Let's go ahead and get right to it. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. 23 yards on the play. I have no crystal ball up here. I can't truly see into the future. But if they don't start getting some pressure on him, make him move around a little bit and do something with the receivers to you know, change up their timing, they're just going to get shredded as we've seen so far. Right now, they're off to a blazing start. Yeah, and you are right. He looks way too comfortable back there in the pocket. Yeah, there shouldn't be a pillow back there for him, all right? <laughs> if, as, as a defensive guy, they've got to dump him on his backside a few times, shake things up. Yeah, they're going to need an in-drive adjustment here on this first series. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. The give is to Jones. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. He only got a couple on that one, so not a ton of help. They'll have a third and eight forthcoming. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Randall Cobb, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Packers take it right down the field and score on the opening drive. On is Mason Crosby for the point after. Extra point up and good by Crosby. And it's now a 7-0 game. Crosby on now to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time.
Brady and the Patriots now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. On play action, it's Brady. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. Clay Matthews in from his linebacker's spot. He's able to drop him for a loss of about 10. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. They run with a rookie. This is Sony Michel. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Here's Brady. And just as you called it after the earlier sack, they set up the screen. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. The screen good for six, but it's not enough as it leads to a fourth down. Well, they took your advice from a bit earlier, tried the screen, but that one, it was covered up pretty well. They did a nice job on it, but I still think it was the right idea, probably just a block or two away from making it work. So on fourth down, the left-footed Ryan Allen to kick it away for the Pats. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. The Packer offense now ready to get back onto the field. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. Now the first carry for Ty Montgomery. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Someone's looking fresh, and this old line is definitely looking their chops. Everyone likes to run block. If you're an offensive lineman, nice early burst, nice gain, too. On play action, now Rodgers. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. And his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. When I played in the yard as a kid, I used to imitate the spectacular catches that I would see on TV. I don't think I ever imitated one quite that well. <laughs> Come on, give yourself some credit. No, I know better. What we just saw there, that was pretty special. Throwing on first down is Brady. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. It is tough to complete passes against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against a zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. By 20! By 20! They'll run it now, out of the gun. And this may be a carbon copy as he'll again be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. And he had a nice play there from his free safety position to hold him to nothing. And, Brandon, remember when the free safety was always back away from the line of scrimmage? That's changed. They always <laughs> that changed in a big way. The way we see it now, they're almost mirrors between the free safety and the strong safety. One will be up, one will be back, or sometimes both will be in the same spot. On that play, the free safety was there, no gain. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Gordon. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That one goes for 29 yards on third down. Right here, right here, right. Right, 20. 
by 20. From the gun, it's Brady. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, and when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple right. extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. By 20! By 20! On the ground, Michelle. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. A nice job to get eight there after the incompletion, and now they'll look at a third and two coming up. Nice job there defensively on third down. Not only did they string the play out, but they didn't allow any room for a cutback. Really well organized on the defensive side. By 20! Brady looking to throw on third and two, and that is incomplete. Kevin King, the former Washington Husky, there defensively. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it, and that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. Kowski's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. A good drive gets them inside the five, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens, because that was the old bend but don't break approach. Made sure they contained them when they absolutely had to and forced the field goal attempt that went through. Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. Here comes Montgomery now to return it. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be second and 11. Came out in a power set, but that only served to put more men in the box. And guess what? If you're going to do that, you've got to win up front, right? Your offensive guys have got to beat the defenders. They lost all leverage on that play. On second down, here's Rodgers. This is Cobb with a catch right side. He had their lone TD earlier. Now he's got a first down. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Now a first down carry by Jones. Room to run past midfield. And he's gonna get this into enemy territory at the 45. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Go, hey, let's go, so into patch territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Rodgers now to throw. He gets it over the middle of the car. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big-time run, big-time pass. A one-two combination. Looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really 
They've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. They'll run it now out of the gun. Had a nice move, but can't break away. Down just inside the 30. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave them with third and still seven yards to go. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Now Rodgers to throw on third down. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. So on now for the Packers at their all-time leading scorer, Mason Crosby. From the right hash, it's a 46-yard attempt. And Crosby puts it through, and they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. So chalk that down as an eight-play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. After the made field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. This is fielded at the goal line. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point? The kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that you offense, wait. they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. I don't know about that. Toe bash. <laughs> Super tall. <laughs> Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Now a play fake. Brady. And he is going to go down. He will be sacked on the final play of this first quarter. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Patriots in possession to begin quarter number two. They do, however, have a tough third and long coming up. Shotgun now for Brady. And right side caught Hogan. And they'll get him down here at the 23. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. Here's Ryan Allen now as he's on to punt for New England. <laughs> The Packers offense now. They get ready to head back onto the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do on the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns and he'll be brought down right at the 30 here five yards on the catch there brings up second down when you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage ball on the 30 they'll come up with a second and five Rodgers to throw on second down 
Got his man complete over the middle. That's Adams. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Rodgers finding Adams for a Packer first. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And now running right through it. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. On first and 10, here's Rodgers. Quick throw, that's complete on the inside slam. Give him nine there on the first down completion. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Seven yards on the quick slant and a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? It closed fast. On second down, it's Jones. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. I would think as a play call, you want to look for some quick hitters to your tight end. Any type of a route to replace where that linebacker was, because when you saw the speed with which he reacted and stuffed that play, maybe use that speed against him in the future. Here's Rodgers on third down. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive, and finally, I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They slapped the double coverage on him. Made it very tough for him to get the ball. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. Made his first, this now from 42 yards out. And this one is going to just tuck into the bottom left corner as he gets it to go. And they will stretch their lead to 10 now at 13-3. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. After the made field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. Now it's Patterson. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And now out come the Patriots. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, 
move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. They begin with Michelle on the ground. And this will go for five up to the 33. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. Go. Now Brady throwing on second down. And a first hook up with his all-pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski. First catch for the all-pro Gronk. They had a first down. Well, there it is, partner. Brady to Gronk, their first connection of the game. You think those two often in sync? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's any question about it. And look, we know Gronk has a whole lot of fun, but he's deadly serious about his football, as is Tom Brady. Two great competitors, two fantastic players. Now a play fake here on first down. He sets to fire deep. And incomplete, he dropped it in the end zone. Seems like this defense, especially the secondary, has really been contesting about every throw in this first half. Remind me of a good half-court defensive basketball team. Every time a pass is thrown, they're right there in good, good defensive position, able to affect the play. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. To throw again, Brady and Dwayne Allen on the ground. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. New England on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. Here it's third and two. 20. 20. 20. 20. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Clay Matthews in there to drop him for his second sack now here tonight. Well, that's the second time they've gotten to Brady, and you've got to do it a variety of ways. You want your regular pressure. Sometimes you have to bring extra. But in this case, they got to him, and that just doesn't happen very often. It's a rarity. He's just such a veteran. His pocket presence so good. But, hey, tip of the cap to the D. And now trotting out there, the Packers getting ready to go. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. And he'll get this up past the five to the seven-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And that run, that changes the whole mentality about the drive right there. They were starting on their own two-yard line. They just wanted enough space to punt the football successfully. Now they're talking about putting together a drive. Now Rodgers throwing on second down. Got a man, that's Allison. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. This is Jones. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down.
And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times. And what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. To throw is Rodgers, looking to throw on second down. And his throw is incomplete. Geronimo Allison, the intended target, and it's third down. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way, a dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. On third down, here's Jones. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Now we're going to get a timeout here called by the Patriots. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. Back deep for New England, Julian Edelman. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Patriots offense now, they work their way back onto the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Now Brady. And he's got Edelman on the out route. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Brady now on first down. And Gronk says, wait room. Quickly to Gronkowski. That's caught. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. And there's another completion to the tight end. And let's face it, it is hard to overthrow a six-foot, six-inch target. It is indeed. The quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge six-six target that they've got in him. They really do, and it, it reminds me of what one great tight end told me once. He told his quarterback, just make sure you throw it up there. You know, kind of like put it up in the top shelf where the kids can't get it. He's going to loft one deep left side. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Josh Gordon, 41 yards. And the Patriots are back within a score. Now Steven Goskowski on for the extra point. Extra point good by Goskowski. And the lead down to three at 13-10. Goskowski now out to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. 
And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. His throw incomplete. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Rodgers again here on second and 10. And his throw is going to be incomplete. They certainly thought they had him surrounded and probably thought they were going to get him on the ground and get the sack, but he's able to elude that. And even though it threw it incomplete downfield, if you're a defensive back, you're loving the pressure that you're seeing from your front. The Packers on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and ten. They'll run it with Jones. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Now whistles blow and the Patriots are going to take another timeout. As he'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. Here's J.K. Scott now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And now Edelman. So a change of possession here on the punt. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk is a big decision here. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Well, it's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Play action. Now it's Brady. And he hits Gronkowski on the out round. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Brady to Gronkowski. Cover athlete to cover athlete for a Patriot first down. They go play action here on first down. He's going to air one out. And nearly picked it off. He had a chance to come down with that in the end zone, but it'll wind up just being incomplete. Quarterbacking 101. Never force the ball into double coverage, especially not this close to the goal line. The windows are so tight, you just don't want to force it in there because it could be tipped up and picked off. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Brady again here on second and 10. This one left side caught by Patterson. And he takes it down deep into Green Bay territory. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead, as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. So after the big play, look at this, all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. Into the red zone, it's Brady. A hit as he throws there, incomplete.
Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. On play action, it's Brady. His pass caught at the four. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. So we've reached halftime here on Halloween. And trust me, kids, if you had to look at Charles Davis every game, you'd think every day was Halloween. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, this is fielded a couple yards deep. Oh, and now he bowls him over. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Now the Patriots gearing up to go now. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. They'll start the drive with a give to White, and he stopped immediately there. Josh Jones in on the stop. Well, if you look where that play starts, O-line versus D-line, that was a battle won by the D-line. Yeah, and oftentimes it's won by quickness off the ball. Who can handle the guy across from them best? On that play, the defensive line did exactly that. The stop for no gain brings up second and 10 from the 20. Three down, three down. Wait, 20. On second down, here's Brady. He gets it into the hands of Gronkowski, complete. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. I'm guessing, partner, that if we're in the huddle with the Patriots right now, there's not a single guy that thinks they have any chance of coming back in this one, especially <laughs> not with Tom Brady. Yeah, league. who's Tom Brady? What's he done in the past as far as comebacks are concerned? <laughs> They're down right now, but that can evaporate quickly with him in the huddle. Brady looking to throw on third and two. And he's got an open man. It's Gronkowski. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. Brady to Gronkowski for the Patriot first down. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in a shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, go, but the go. way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more Wait, times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Set him back five. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. They'll go left side here with Michelle. And he's got some space here. And he takes it past the 45 and down at the 46. They get the penalty yardage back plus a yard. Six-yard gain, and it's second and nine. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. Brady to throw on second down. Goes underneath here to White, and he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Give him eight on the play, and that'll bring up a third and one. Well, it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center-eligible stuff, but still, a lot of guys to account for. Wait, 20! On third down, it's White. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. 
They stay on the ground. This time it's Michelle. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Brandon, we're into the second half, and this offense has not scored a lot of points, and that was another example of why. I think it's time to open things up and start really trying to move the ball. Looking to throw on second down. Brady. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. And nobody was open downfield there. Looked like a pretty clear throw away. Yeah, definitely was that. I'm wondering why there wasn't intentional grounding. I know they're saying there's a receiver there in the area. Those darn quarterbacks, they get away with everything. <laughs> Spoken like a true defensive back, Mr. Oh, did, Davis. Did, did that come out? It did. Okay. Wait, 20! On third and long, it's Brady. And he will find his man. That's Hogan complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. And they pick up 25 as they convert on third. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Going on first down is Brady. And that's caught by Gronk for a Pats touchdown. Brown Gronkowski, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Pats able to cash in for six. So, partner, remember the offseason, all the chatter, all the people in the Boston area were wondering, would Brady be back? Would Gronk be back? <laughs> I think they're breathing pretty easy right now. See that that combination is doing just fine. Goskowski the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. Koski now out to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to... Blitz coming, and down he goes. Kyle Van Noy coming on the blitz. He gets him for a loss of seven. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure it out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. Brings it up just shy of the 25. Showed some of that quickness there on the move. It'll be a gain of about five, but they're left with a third and still about 12 to go. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. The Packers on third down, just one for five to this point. This is third down and 12. From the gun, it's Rodgers. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Now, we talk about players blitzing all the time and laugh and sometimes call it just straight ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. Good open field tackling there. A 50-yard punt followed by just a one-yard return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs.
So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10 at the 33-yard line. Shotgun now for Brady. And right side caught Hogan. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Brady now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Coming left is Michelle. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. When you think of Mike Daniels, you think of strength. Hard to knock off the football, but surprising quickness and ability to move and evade people. How about that play there? Well, he can squat 600 pounds, so that's how he caught people's attention coming into the league, and he caught our attention right there. Over the middle, that's taken in by Gronkowski. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. New England on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. Here it's third and three. By 20, 380. Yeah. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. Two sides to every coin. This is the bad side of missing the 58-yarder. Now they start at the 48. On first down, Rodgers. This is Cobb with a catch right side. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. On play action, Rodgers escapes the defender. A oh, battle for it here, and this will be caught. A good pick up there, a 22. And another thing that makes a comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receiver's breaking away from the defensive back, and that makes it a really tough play to defend. A nice chunk of yardage picked up there. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Call it a pickup of seven, and that'll make it second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. Able to get seven on that first down pass play, second and three. Jones, and he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Calling no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Big boys down there in the trenches and a nice play to stop them. Pulled, nothing there. Yeah, when you talk about big boys, you talk about those defensive tackles, those nose tackles. They're not just big, they're immense, <laughs> and what a big-time play there. Rodgers going to try and throw on third down. Caught by Cobb. And eventually taken down, but how about that athletic spin move we saw? Gives him the first down yardage. The gain of five that time gives him the conversion and makes it first and goal. Rodgers 
Rodgers will bring him up to the line, first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. To throw, it's Rodgers. Got a man open, it's Adams. Touchdown, Green Bay. Devontae Adams from 10 yards out. And the Packers are able to cash in for six. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower, bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball out of the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. Crosby on now to kick it away. Now it's Patterson. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. So the Patriots coming out now. And yeah, they've got to be a little bit frustrated about that last drive, missed field goal. Always hurts a team because, you know, you've put something out there, you've given yourself a chance, you're in range, and the ball doesn't go through the post. But it's not something to panic about, I don't believe. Just keep playing and keep going. Now a play fake here on first down. And this one is incomplete. I remember a coach told me a long time ago the difference between playing corner and safety in the NFL corner is like the Autobahn. Everybody just flying by, and these corners have been really busy in this game, although they got it done on the last play. On the last play, yes, but there have been some good numbers put up against them offensively. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. My 20! My 20! Looking back to the air on second down, it's Brady. Trying to lay one up deep. Trying to squeeze it into Edelman, and it's intercepted. And it's ha-ha Clinton Dix with a pick. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down the score, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. And when you're running the football, one thing you don't want to see is a big boy coming up there to swallow you whole in those D tackles and nose tackles. No, you're actually counting on your big boys to protect you from them. But on that play, the defensive tackle had the leverage, and he won the battle. No gain, correct? No gain. 319! 319! Back now in Foxborough. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. The rush defense stout on first down. Here's second and 10 from the 20. They'll go again to Jones. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. And this is why the head coach gets paid the big bucks. Look at where they are in this situation, partner. Do you throw the ball here in a long-distance situation? Do you run it again and trust your defense and make sure you take care of the ball and punt it away? What kind of options do you have here, and what do you trust more on your team? Yeah, they may have just pushed him back into that throwing situation. We'll see. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead. You've got to protect it. And he's taking chances, putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? Well, that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. and the Patriots now first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. By 20, by 20. Yeah. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Kenny Clark 
He's the one who finally gets him down for what will wind up being a loss of 16 yards. Now this is where field awareness comes into play. He's getting perilously close to his own goal line, and after that sack, backed up to his own two. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. A give. This is Michelle. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. It's a pickup of 17 there, and that's going to lead to a third down. But it looks like they caught him off guard on second and very long by running the football. All right, we always talk about tendency breakers and counters and doing things opposite the grain, and that worked very well for him. Picked up really nice yardage, but they still have a lot of work to do on third down. Throwing is Brady on third down. This is White on the screen. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Well, you can see what they wanted to do. They wanted to set up the screen there, but it got blown up. It's hard to run that play if you're not getting a lot of pressure at the quarterback because the space doesn't open up. They were able to read that one and slow it down and stop it before they could get a first down. Yeah, this is taken at the 23. A big boot that time, 57 yards the official distance. The Packers offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their own 26. Rodgers now to throw. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Rodgers again here on second and ten. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. First target, first catch, and a first down. Rodgers now a perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. To throw is Rodgers. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sad. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Here's Jones, and he'll get this up only to about the 33. And the 2015 first round pick, Malcolm Brown brings him down. That's it, that's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The Packers on third down. They've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This is third and 16. Shotgun now for Rodgers. That's complete to Cobb. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. 
That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. On play action, it's Brady. He goes full extension, and he's got it. The familiar refrain, Brady to Gronk for the New England first. And that's how you throw for a whole heap of yards in the game. You get efforts like that from your receivers. How about him laying out for that catch? Yeah, excellent. Makes a quarterback look a whole lot better. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Right, 20. On first and ten, here's Brady. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. By 20! By 20! Brady now on first down. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And this is caught inside the five. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Josh Gordon, his second touchdown of the night. And the Patriots have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Extra point try for Goskowski. Goskowski with the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. Goskowski now out to kick it away. Here comes Montgomery now to return it. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Over the middle, that's caught by Adams. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Throwing is Rodgers. Open here is Allison. That's complete. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Open man, here is Cobb. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 23 yards on the play. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. 319! Rodgers now on first down to the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. A gain of six there on first. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course, you got to <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. 
Rodgers again now. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. Nothing on the screen that time. Now it's third down. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively ahead, to snuff that one out. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. And he finds Jimmy Graham. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. Now Jones. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. It's real easy to say this running game needs to be better, but the reality is they've been given a little time to actually find a place to run the football. It's almost like the defense is there on the handoff. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Again, it's Jones. And he takes this down to about the 12 for a gain of three. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball in this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. never-say-never never situation. But to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but now you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get overeager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. They get one more as the extra points up and good. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. Crosby on now to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. He's back to throw. He'll check this one down to Michelle. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. Back to throw. Throw left side, complete. It's Gordon. A good pick up there, a 22. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. He'll look to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Gordon. 
And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here on a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Back to throw. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Back to throw, Brady. The throw left side complete to Hogan. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Brady to throw. And right side caught, Hogan. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. And they call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Yes. To throw is Brady. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down, Josh Gordon, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete <laughs> a pass like having there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's thrown it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions. And that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. Now flags come in. Looked like one of the Patriots might have moved. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Now Brady. And this is caught at the eight. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Again, they'll throw with Brady. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. I know the numbers won't show it as often as other people, mainly because his team has been so good for so long. But Tom Brady, in a situation like this, down the stretch, is always going to be clutch, isn't he? Absolutely. I mean, is there anybody else you would rather have leading the two-minute drill for your team than Brady? I don't think so. This guy has it all. So calm, so poised, and always believes he's going to lead his team to a victory. Koskowski now out to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. One possession game, <laughs> time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation. But this is Friday practice every week of the season. You go over this situation, having to go downfield, limited timeouts, got to get out of bounds and keep the drive going and set yourself up. Defensively, you can't just lay back and let them do whatever they want. So it is a cat and mouse deal here. How much pressure will the defense bring? And how much pressure can the offense handle? We're going to find out. Line of scrimmage. Again, the 25, second and 10. Back to throw, Rodgers. 
And his throw is going to be incomplete. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver. And that takes us from second to third down. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime. And because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. Rodgers to throw. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. This defense looking impenetrable now. Three straight incompletions. They're giving them nowhere to go with the football. Maybe a little frustrated back there. Oh, there's no doubt about it. When you've missed on three straight, there's going to be some frustration. But now he's got to make sure that that frustration is temporary, not lingering. Big throw coming up. Now Rodgers got to have this one. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that's going to be just about all she wrote for this one. Now a first down carry, it's Michelle. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. And we've got a timeout. Nine seconds remaining. And now out come the Patriots. Two timeouts remaining defensively, but that shouldn't make much difference right here. It really shouldn't, but a lot of coaches look at it similar to baseball with the intentional walk. Always bringing in other right? sports. Always, hey, listen, think about the intentional walk, right? What if one gets past the catcher? What if he uncorks a wild one and now you still have an opportunity? That's why they like to use them all the way through. And it's Michelle once again. And a short gain here down to the 22. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. New England on third down. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This is third and eight. Wait, 20. On the handoff, it's Michelle. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Like 20. Like 20. Here we go with Michelle. Well, Charles, they were close in the end, but they couldn't get that last play, that last little miracle play done. They were within striking distance, but couldn't find a way to score. They definitely had hope. They definitely had opportunity. Just unable to cash in at the end. Not an easy play by any stretch, but they definitely had a chance. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Patriots winners here at home.